Huh? You be cool. It will be fine. You think I'm... Stop moving around. Lincoln Clay. Jesus Christ on the cross. Now I've seen everything. I heard you were dead. Been hearing that a lot. What the fuck do you want? Came here to make you a business proposition. Is that so? I'm going after Marcano, his brothers, anyone else that's associated with him. You want my help? The way I see it, once we deal with Barbieri, you get Point Vidon back. After that, we can discuss what happens to the rest of the city. <laughs> no, fuck off. All the chalky postures once already. Look where I got me. From where I'm standing, I'm not seeing much of a difference between then and now. You lesson that, you lesson God, you fuck. <laughs> Danny was so buttoned up, the coroner wouldn't let me get a last look. Anyone's killing that fucking Marcano. That's me. Unless Marcano's hanging around one of these dive bars, I don't think he has too much to worry about. Yeah, go fuck yourself. There's more stones in the lakes of you there are fucking off. A fucking ingrate. Coming to your question, me. You and your cane, you are caught and run at the first sign of trouble. You always have, you always will. Over, or I'll move you over. What the Christ you think you're doing? You were bragging about your stones, so I figured we'd take a little ride. See who cracks first, the Chalky or the Mick. You ain't proving nothing. the word when you <laughs> Give me the word when you've had enough. Pick the wrong man to call out. Mother's got more leather in her stuff than the likes of you. All right, you proved your point, your manga, sir. Pull over here. Now, get the fuck out of my raid. Come around me place in a bit. We've got more to discuss.
low is we need help right away. Yeah, we got a report of a car being stolen at Irish Point. Is any units at time? Maybe go take a statement? Back so soon, then. Tell me about Barbieri. Barbieri? Well, he's a right fuck cunt. I can tell you that much. You know what I'm asking, Burke. Give me something I can use. Barbieri's running Splow out of the Sweetwater Distillery. Splow. Panther's piss. White mule. Alley gin. Potchain, moonshine, you ignorant fuck. Christ, what kind of booze you people drink over there in Darkyville? Kind is not called painter's piss. <laughs> Boy, you ain't lived. Set the whole thing up myself. Then that gunny fuck comes in and takes it from me. Smashes me knee all to hell. Barbieri's has gonna suffer. You hear? Days. Slow. What else has he got besides the distillery? I runs that old Robert O. Slaughterhouse. He's doing more in there than cutting a lean ribeye. Drags in there. That's the end of you. I'll do the heavy lifting on this, Burke. Uh -huh. but once Barbieri's dead, I'm counting on you to step up. Oh, I'll do more than step up. I'll either be running this whole damn town or burning it to the ground. But honest, that'll make a whole lot of difference to me either way. <laughs> a nation, come on, once again. A nation, once again. Long a province be a nation, once again. Need some wheels. Berg says you're the only person we're talking to about it. I'm fucking blattered. Couldn't depend on it. Try me later. Need some wheels. Berg says you're the only person we're talking to about it. Well, Berg's a fucking genius in that regard. I'll head on out to you now. Got a car here for you. That's a big help. Lincoln, over here. Surprised to see you, Nikki. I know what you're planning on doing. And I couldn't just sit here and watch my old man send you out half-cocked. Fuck. Man, your dad's never been much for details. Yeah, what he didn't tell you is that the man running the Sweetwater Distillery is named Carl Bevers. Hard ass Country asshole. His family runs the shine through the business, sells it to local shops. Bevers ever let on to where he keeps his stills? Uh, he's got brains enough to move things around. Rumor is he's got a map hid somewhere for his drivers. Hmm. Something like that could come in handy. Maybe I'll convince where it is. Hey, we've got another man. Goes by the name of Bear. Keeping an eye on the meatpacking plant. You should go see him. I'll do that. Thanks for the help. Anytime, Lincoln. Know what Bevis is up?
watch it. Oh, sorry. Whoever strung up that boy at the amusement park got himself a sick sense of humor. I can relate. 
I have to ask you to leave.
Plans for that gun? Somebody save me. What is that over there? Hey. Hey. Are you okay? Hello, oh, God. Don't let him kill me. Please. Please. Paying off the Sunny Blue. It's really fucked him up with the boot. Sonny's back over at the robber, though. His language has taken an especially colorful turn of late. I take it the butcher didn't appreciate Sonny's loan shark and in protection rackets being disrupted. You got that right. And the Shinola's hit the fan. Sonny's set on getting things back to normal. You know, keeping his people more scared of him than you. We'll see about that. Keep your head down till this is over, here. Yeah? Is any unit that time? Maybe go take a statement? Oh, 
Worst king in New Bordeaux if you work for me. How's that sound, Sonny? Sure. I kind of like working here anyway. Good. Burke's boys are gonna reach out. <laughs> Slaughterhouse is clear. Send your people. Thomas Burke came to the States as a boy uh, when his father fled Ireland, likely because of his involvement in the Irish Civil War. Um, after his father died of a heart attack, uh, Burke started running booze to support himself. I mean, he turned bootlegging into an entire industry, and Sal Marcano took notice. Uh, Burke worked his way up the ranks, but could never be made because he wasn't Italian. Yep, 
Heard many a horror story about the things that went on between these walls.